Hello again. Alcohol does break a fast. And this is because alcoholic drinks are very high in calories. For example, depending on what your tipple is, a 25 ml shot, which is a single shot of whiskey, is about 56 calories. A similar size shot of vodka is 52 calories. And the same amount of gin is 56 calories. And tequila is 53. And if you like rum, then the same amount, a 25 ml shot, is 56 calories. The important thing to note is that calories of an alcoholic drink are what's known as empty calories. Empty calories means that it has a high calorific content, but has a low nutritional benefit to the body. And in comparison, a small hard boiled egg has around about 54 calories, which is very similar to a shot of whiskey. But of course, a small hard boiled egg has a very high nutritional value to your body. So if you're partial to an alcoholic drink or two perhaps, then ideally what you need to be doing is to have your alcoholic drinks during your eating window. But of course, this could pose a problem for you because quite often, when people drink, it's in the evening when they go out with friends. So if you want to be strict with your fasting period and your eating window, there is a way around this. So for example, if you're doing the 16-8 method of intermittent fasting like I am, which means that you're fasting for 16 hours and then eating during an eight hour window, you can extend your fast on the day that you're going to be drinking alcohol into the evening. So for example, on the day that you're going to be going out drinking with friends, and let's say you're going to be drinking till about 11 p.m. at night, you should consider leaving breaking your fast until 3 p.m. on that same day. But of course, what that means is that you've extended your fast beyond the normal 16 hours. And let's assume, for example, you stopped eating the night before 8 p.m., and you didn't start eating until 3 p.m. the following day, you fasted for 19 hours. In my opinion, extending your fast like this is actually a good thing, and I recommend that you do it at least once or possibly twice per month. In fact, Friday just gone, I extended my fasting period to 22 hours. And by doing so, you're extending that period where autophagy happens inside your body, which is your body's way of recycling proteins. And that's actually a good thing. So far be it for me to say whether you should or shouldn't drink alcohol, but just bear in mind that drinking alcohol to the excesses isn't going to be very good for you. Thank you for listening. See you on the next video and have a great week.